After a very disappointing end to the last season, we are back with a brand new season, new players, new kits and expectations higher than ever before, especially because we are now professional status. And along came with that, a load of injuries. But that will not stop us as we have the first two games of the season as well as a lot to catch up on. So let's just get stuck in. So and as I said in the introduction, we have the injury crisis from hell. Here are all the players that we have off injured at the moment. As you can see, Kenobata, Akada, Takichi, Tajima, all off with long-term injuries. Hip injury, broken foot, broken ankle, fractured arm. And this has all happened as we have become a professional club. Which, as you can see here, this is now updated to professional status. So, along with that is a lot higher expectations. And if we just look along a little bit more you can see that we have some new kits they're a little bit different from previous kits we had but i sort of moved around some of the colors so that um white was more prominent than yellow in our kits now because <laughs> i was just getting a bit bored of it and it just looked a bit ugly i have been doing them randomly uh, i haven't been like sort of selecting them myself um because i think i prefer the randomness of it and uh i kind of like how these two kits are pretty much the same design and then this one is a little bit different they're very picnic table i kind of enjoy it and it looks a lot more different on the pitch as well so we're going to be sticking with that for this season and in the way of new transfers we've had a few interesting ones come in and a few interesting ones go out uh, if you remember kengo ogawa he um he had a good season a couple of years ago and uh, i let him go for free to be honest uh, he just he wasn't at this level and other teams wanted him and he was playing in our reserve so sent him on his way Romario I don't think he ever actually played for us um we bought him for free put him out on loan and uh he did nothing really so managed to sell him for 4k another player we bought him for free a couple of years ago was this guy who again I don't think you will have ever seen him play because I don't think he ever did he went straight out on loan the moment that we got him didn't develop and he's just not at the level that we need him to. So sold him for 500 quid with a sell-on clause. Same with this guy. Got him in on a free. Sent him straight out on loan. He just did nothing for us. So sold him straight away. 30k with a sell-on. Easy money. This guy. Goalie. Got him in on free. Sent him on loan to our good friends Tonan. And uh, sold him on for a decent amount. He just wasn't developing at all, and I don't believe his potential ability at all. That just doesn't add up. But we managed to sell him for 90k, and uh, we've got a sell-on with that as well. So if they manage to sell him for anything above 90k, we'll make some money from it. The rest of the players are pretty similar, other than Kai Yamada, who uh, didn't really feature last season. He did when he first came in. He played, uh, played a couple of games, but since then nothing really and it just wasn't that great so managed to sell him for 100k got a lovely little sell on with him as well so hopefully again he'll be sold in the future for a profit and Ryu Shimada also went for 5k again I don't believe these star ratings he didn't really feature that much last year he did have a good overall rating but I just don't think he's at the right level and he wants to be playing more and we only play one striker so what is the point point? and then in the way of transfers that we have bought in there's been a couple come in one being this guy Wada so he came in from Sendai University he looks like he could be quite a good player he is on a decent whack but he's got a long contract so hopefully he'll be able to prove that he is going to be getting to this ability and um, continue to grow but he'll be playing as our defensive midfield player instead of a deep line playmaker but it gives us an option if we do run out of deep line playmakers that he can push onwards and looking at this as well he is a consistent performer so hopefully he'll be able to be a rock in our midfield this season another guy that we brought in is this guy here Nishino who's come in as our new left back and I know what you're probably thinking but we have Miura and he did get the most assists last season yes he did but Miura is limited as a player so if I compare the two players where is he there he is if I compare the two players um Nishino is a lot better overall as a player. Um, crossing is exactly the same as well. And at this level, I think he'll be a lot better than Miura. He's also two years younger. He is on a lot more money, admittedly. This is the problem with going professional now. He's These players are going to want more money. So 
I'm going to have to give it to them. And a little glance up to the coach summary as well. You'll see he loves big matches and he's consistent. And they are two very useful traits to have. Some other players just to note that we have brought in uh, Yun Sato. Yun Sato is sort of a left back, right back, backup option. Um, although I'm not a big fan of how his development is going right now. Tanabe is a new sort of midfield depth option. Minamino's been brought in as an option up front while uh, Tajima is injured for the majority of the season. So hopefully this guy will be able to get a few goals. He is consistent, got decent finishing, first touch. And he's very quick, so hopefully he'll be able to uh, get us some goals. Anderson Poch in defence. Managed to find this guy, picked him up for a free transfer. My god, he is going to be very good in defence with us. Him alongside Marcus or Endo, you can already see that his um, his ability has started to grow because he is a very determined player and um, a very good player, so... He's not consistent, which is slightly worrying, but I think at this level, if we're winning a lot of games, hopefully we can um, we can improve that. And also at this level, having jumping and heading of that amount should get him a few goals. So if we can get five, six goals with him this season, I think um, I think I'd be quite happy. And Sho Aquino is another option that we have out on the left hand side. As you can see, he's got a little injury right now, which is great. We brought him in as a sort of replacement for Takichi in the meantime, and then he got injured straight away. Whether he'll stick around at this club or not is a different question because I don't think he actually has the potential to sort of get to the four, four and a half star rating that they kind of think he might. And we spoke in the intro about the sort of expectation of what we're going to be uh, able to achieve this season. And um, the media think we're going to finish top. You'll notice uh, some of the teams have got promoted. Shinagawa, who we've seen before. Vesper Challengers, who we know very well as well. Um, and Bombonero are all promoted to this league now. So... So it'll be interesting to see what they have to offer, especially considering Thesper Challengers are considered to finish third place. Um, but they are sort of the reserve team for a bigger team. So, yeah, you imagine they'll have some decent players. And if you look at the Media Dream 11, it's very nice to see a lot of Trinitas players in there. We've got Posh in there, who I just spoke about, Nishino as well, Asawa on the right back, Yucky, Pierce, and Meraki. Another thing, just before we get into the game, is that we are yet to have our youth intake. And as you can see, it is going to be terrible. So, um, if that comes in before the end of this episode, uh, we can have a look through. But I'm not very hopeful that any of these players will be very good. So, one quick glance over some of the other pending transfers that we have going on. There's pretty much full 11 or so players here that we are expecting to sort of come in over the next year or so. Got this guy who's just confirmed, Nathan Risden, who is a goalie. Um, I think he could develop quite a bit. He will probably never play for us, but I will get him in, put him out on loan. He's only 17, but if he develops, he could probably be sold for quite a decent amount. Santos, we've had him for a while. We're waiting on him to basically turn 18, which he does this year year so does Andrei Soltanov again another left back who will very unlikely ever play for us this guy Jallo will definitely play for us 17 years old he'll be coming in in July this year he looks a very good defender so I'm really excited to see what he can do he can also play as a DM um, so where he ends up playing I'm not entirely sure yet but he's also a Gambian player, and I don't think I've had a Gambian player in a while. Another left back, Ganiev. He is from Uzbekistan, developing really well. He's a very consistent player. Whether he'll end up playing for us is a different question, but I actually quite like his stats, and um, I'm not entirely sure this ability here is all that correct, but he's a very determined player, and um, I think he could do a good job for us at left wing back. Another player who is coming in this season is Abralzinho and uh, he's playing out on the right. He's not very consistent but he could develop quite a lot. He looks really good to me. He might end up being a yucky replacement if yucky does get sold. I don't want to think about that right now. This guy we're just waiting on confirmation. Another determined player who uh, can sit in our midfield. Young player, free transfer, really excited about him. Then we've got a couple of Uruguayans here. We've got Medina, we've got Cabrera. Consistent, they're not going to be amazing, but again, probably end up selling them on. 
Komilov has played quite a few games for us out on the left-hand side in friendlies. I don't think he'll ever play for us, but he's a determined player. So I'll, um, I'll put him out on a couple of loans and see what he can do out there. And if he doesn't improve or impress me, then I'll sell him on. And then this guy from Qatar. Uh, looks like a really interesting striker. He might be a good backup option at some point in the future. He is mega consistent, but he is unambitious and very aggressive. Whether he'll actually play or not, I'm not sure, but he'll probably play in some friendlies at some point in the next preseason. Right, I've spoken enough already, so let's just get to the team for our first game of the season. So here we are for the first game of the season with our new kit. As you can see, it's white on top, green on the bottom, and I think it's a little bit easier to see on the pitch because before when it was green it was quite difficult to see at times and um, I think we had a kit clash in the last episode so you know hopefully that will not be the case anymore. So OBS clearly hates me. Uh, for the second time this series we've managed to crash OBS and we've lost the game footage which is really frustrating. At the point of the crash we were 1-0 up but we ended up winning this game 8-1 in the end. You'll probably remember the first goal which was scored by Yucky. Um, Pierce set him through quite nicely, who buried it into the bottom corner from outside the box. We then had Asawa taking a penalty, which he buried very nicely into the top right corner. Yucky then broke through and uh, played it back to Asawa, who squared it across to Miura, into Vera. Vera to Nakagato, buries it into the bottom corner as well. Kambe then played it into Yucky, who ran with it down the right-hand wing, just cut inside, and uh, their left-back didn't really do anything about it. Yucky just then buried it into the bottom left corner. Uh, Nakagato then burst through on the left-hand side, cut in, back out to the byline, squared it to Vera, who finished it very nicely for, um, for him. Into the second half, and Pierce managed to get himself down the right-hand side, and... Uh, Played it across, Vera missed it, Minamino was there to tap it in. Takano then had this free kick, squared across to Kawano, who scored an absolute screamer. And then they managed to pull a goal back with a quite a frustrating goal, really. Um, I don't know how we haven't managed to get in the way of that or stop that from going in, but is what it is. We still managed to win 8-1. And um, this was the last goal of the game, which was Yucky's hat-trick goal. Uh, he got inside the box, buried it very nicely into the top left corner. In place of that game, we will be playing the Tokyo 23 game today. We'll start off with the Tokyo United game and then head on into that one. So, I'll see you in a few short moments. So, something that came in after the first game was our youth intake. And as you can tell from this, it's pretty bad, so I will probably not be signing any of these players. So something I highlighted before is that we can only have a certain amount of foreign players playing at the same time, with some of our players still out um, through suspension for whatever weird rule, reason, whatever it is. Um, we are going to have to rotate a fair amount, and um, today we have Luis Vera dropping out in place of Marcus, so Endo will be on the bench today. Marcus and Posh will be playing at centre-back together, and Cole Pierce will take up the deep-line playmaker role today. Does Vera deserve that? Probably not, but I've got to rotate unfortunately, and um, he's going to be the one that drops out in place. So for the lineup itself, we've got Minamino up top, Nakagato and Yucky, Pierce, Kawano and Tanabe, Miura, Marcus, Posh, Osawa, and Meraki playing today. All right, so the first highlight of the game is from their goal kicks. They're going to be trying to play out from the back here, and we're going to put the pressure on their back line with a high press as usual. Marcus heads that nicely to Pierce. Kawano's got the ball, tries to play Nakagato through, but goes into the defender's feet instead and posh cleans up again two big jumpers and uh, oh we've just hit the post two uh, big jumpers and um, decent heads on the ball so hopefully um, we'll be able to take advantage of that even from set pieces today from an attacking point of view would be good if we turned this possession around a little bit to be honest if we can carry on our start to the season um with another win that would be fantastic posh has managed to intercept the ball here tanabe has got it plays it to marcus pierce has now got it can't find the pass, so he plays it back to Marcus, who gets it out wide to Miura, our assist king from last season. Nakagata's now burst through. Can he cut inside to Minamino, who buries it? Is he onside? Yes, he is. That is 1-0. Fantastic start. 12 minutes in, 1-0 up. This is the team sat in second. Um, I think they beat Vons in their first game? I'm not entirely sure, but quite happy to be going in 1-0 up after 15 minutes. So our defenders have got the ball here, so Marcus is going to... 
play it in to Posh. He's had a decent start to the season. Obviously, we conceded that one goal in the last game, but Minamino's going to burst through here and uh, deflected wide, I think. Yes, we've got a corner. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, Posh has had a decent start to the season. Would like him to get a goal, to be honest. It'd be nice for him to get his first goal for the club. Mira's going to take it. Can he get one here? No, he cannot. It is headed away. And I think we might... No, it's a clean penalty. Clean penalty, clean foul. That must be offside, surely. No, it's not. <laughs> Minamino gets another goal. That's two in five minutes for us. Um, I was very confused what was going on there. I'm sure he was offside. Where is he? Where is he? Number 30 here. Yeah, he's like a mile offside. Well, this is going to show us. Let's pause it. Ah, oh, he plays the ball back. It's fine. I thought he was a mile offside there, but yeah. He plays the ball back, so he is fine. It's nice to see, um, although he is a sort of backup striker, uh, Minamino getting a couple of goals because obviously once Tajima's back, he will be our number one striker. But it's good that we can have these other options to play for us in the meantime. Yucky as well. Keeper saved it onto the post and Kawano buried it. 3-0 up after 20 minutes. As I said, it'll be nice to carry on what we did in the first game with a few goals in this one. And um, I'd say we started pretty well. Yucky had the shot there off the post and then uh, Kawano was there for the follow-up. I do have some players that are better with their attributes but Kawano just scores goals from that centre attack in mid position so it's good that we have those options as I was saying like Minamino who can score when we need them to. We're also playing Tanabe today who's having his first start for the team. Uh, he usually plays in the position that Cole Pierce is currently in so again it's good to see that bit of rotation Playing well in other positions. Speaking of which, he's got it here and plays it into Cole Pierce, who gets the ball out to Nakageto. Back to Pierce. Pierce, can you get your head up? Find a pass. Tanabe. Is there an overlap? There is from Asawa. He's getting down that right hand side into Yucky to Kawano to Pierce. Is Pierce going to have a shot? He does, and it's deflected wide for another corner for Trinitas. Sawa's having a decent game. Has he had an assist? Well, he must have because he's on an 8.0. To the back post, keeper heads it away, heads it away, punches it away, you know what I mean. Alright, we're coming up to the half an hour mark. Possession's looking a little bit better, but to be honest, we're 3-0 up, so if we keep scoring and it stays like this, I don't really mind. So I've got the ball here, Kwano's shot is deflected away, but Yucky manages to clean up into Tanabe, to Pierce. Oh, he's lost it there, but they've just hoofed it long. Um, to nobody. Is the highlight still going to keep going? Yeah, the highlight's still going, so something might come of this. Um, there is a massive gap in their defensive. Tanabe can get the ball through to Kawano, who's going to run through with it. Has a long shot. Saved? Oh, side netting. Got another highlight. Just highlight after highlight at the moment. Um, this press, they, they can't break from it. Oh, it's just wide. They can't get through this press at the moment. Right, Mira's got the ball out to Nakageto. Can he run at them? He does, but then plays it back to Miura, who's going to cut inside. Gets the ball in to Kawano, is headed over to Yucky, takes a touch, volleyed just over. Right, we're coming into half time. Will we get another highlight before the half time whistle goes? We do. Posh is on the ball here. Plays it into Kawano. Kawano. Yucky's tried to make that run inside, but Kawano's now making the run outside. Plays it to Asawa. Will he get it in? No, he plays it to Tanabe, who squares it for Pierce, who has a long shot, and the keeper saves. Would have preferred him to sort of pass that. Yucky's not having a great game, to be honest. He has been a little bit absent, but hopefully he can turn that around in the second half. We've uh, crossed it in here, but Nakageto's now got it on the left-hand side. Pierce, on the edge of the box, plays it to Tanabe, who gets a lovely ball over to Asawa. Can he square it? He does. Yucky! Oh! That's offside. That was a very quick highlight. Uh, Asawa's got a free kick here. He's going to push it to the back post. Marcus heads it and in. What was I saying? Got a good head. Got a good leap. He's a tall boy. Lovely. Is that his first goal of the season? Yeah, I don't think he scored in the last game. But yeah, he's got good jumping reach. Got good head in. Great with both feet. Consistent. Love this man. Right, Miura's got the ball here. Plays it in from the left-hand side. Headed away, but only as far as Yucky, who gets it out to Pierce. Pierce, can you get a shot away? Deflected. Minamino's now going to chase this down. Into Tanabe. Tanabe oh, tries to pick out Yucky, but they've intercepted. The highlight's still going here, so... Ah, that's the end of that. Right, we've got a corner. Mura's taking this. Where's he going to put it? 
to the back post. Keeper's going to come and try and claim it, and he does very nicely. They're going to kick it along. Posh wins that header. Into Pierce. Pierce with a ball through. Minamino for his hat trick. Oh, keep saves. Nakagato, another tall boy. But he's a tall winger, which is interesting. Miura into Nakagato. Tanabe is going to turn. Get your head up, son. Pierce, Nakagato. Tanabe again. He's got a man coming. Oh, plays it through. Oh, Kawano. Tipped over the bar. That would have been a lovely goal. Very, um, very, uh, Robin Van Persie esque. Miura. Corner to the front post. Headed away. That's the end of that highlight. Coming up to the 60 minute mark. I'm going to look at making a substitution in a second, I think. But let's let this highlight play out first. Nakagato um, is going to get down that left wing. Or not. Or play it into Tanabe. Into Pierce. Kawano. Long shot. Deflected off the post. That looked like a double deflection. Let's see if there's a highlight here. There is not. So let's have a look at a substitution. But I'm going to make two. I'm going to get Posh off. And um, I think Miura needs a break. His uh, condition is very bad. Um, so I'm going to bring uh, Yun Sato on for his debut. He can play at left back today. Uh, so let's give him a little bit of encouragement and a round of applause. We'll make some more substitutions in a bit. I, I'm kind of hoping Minamino will get his hat trick and then I can get him off. Um, and maybe Yucky. Yucky's not had a great game today. So I think those two will probably come off. And um, maybe a midfielder. Either Kawano or Pierce can come off. Tandabe's had a decent game in defensive midfield today. Considering he's not a DM, he can play there, but he isn't um, natural there. So um, I'm enjoying the fact he is playing well there. They're trying to pass it around, but our press is doing very well. They um, they can't get past our midfield without having to kick it long like that. Asawa now into Kawano. To Yucky. Oh, Minamino's... Mo oh, Minamino... Mini can get his hat trick there. We'll wait until around the 75 minute mark to make the rest of the substitutions. Asawa here into the front post, headed away. Yucky out to Asawa again to the back post. Pierce heads it over. Come on. We need to be making more of these opportunities. Okay, so we've got another highlight here. This will probably be the last highlight before I take some players off. Pierce has got the ball, plays it through for Minamino. Oh, he loses the really do with him. Getting a hat trick. Trying to play it through, but Marcus manages to intercept and they've played it through. Oh, they've broke through quite nicely there. And um, we've conceded. We can't keep a clean sheet ever. There's always one goal, no matter how much um, we beat a team by. They always manage to get one goal. But Minamino's bursting through here and he runs past the defender. There's his hat trick goal. That was a real uh, two fingers up to the goal we just conceded. So we've got a free kick here. Played in Sato. Marcus, Kambe, Tanabe, Takano, and uh, Takano's lost it here, but Tanabe has managed to pick it back up. Sato's now going to get down the left. He's going to get it in to Takano. Keeper claims it very nicely, though. What's he going to do? Is he going to actually kick it? Yeah, he does. There we go. Kicks it long. Headed away by Endo to Tanabe, and now Aquino can get his head up and run with it. Hopefully, uh, gets it out to Sato. Sato... Lofted pass to the back post, but Kawano heads it over. Right, 85 minutes gone now, and uh, I think I can safely say that we've won this match. He says as they hit the crossbar. This is a great start to the season. Obviously, we've got another game to play today, as the first one messed up. That is full time, and that is 5 1 in the end. Minamino did get his hat trick in the end on the 75th minute because he knew he was coming off literally just after this. Very happy with that. That puts us top. So that 5-1 victory gives us a very healthy lead at the top of the table. We're on the same amount of points as Brian Vecker, obviously, but goal difference-wise, we are doing a lot better. So we're going to go over to the Tokyo 23 match now. We've got about a week's worth to play through, so I'm going to jump ahead. Don't go anywhere, and I'll see you in a few short moments. Okay, and we are back for... Our game against Tokyo 23, and this is the lineup we're going for today. It is pretty much the same as the last one Minamino, Nakagato, and Yaki, Pierce, Kawano, and Tanabe. They all played very well in the last game, and um, I feel like they deserve another chance in this game. Um, the only change we've got from the actual side that played in the last game was. This guy here, Nishino, coming in for Miura. So this was one of the new signings that couldn't play. 
because of that nonsense suspension. Um, so he'll be playing at left back today. As you can see, very consistent, great in big games. And uh, he's got decent crossing on him. Is he an upgrade on Mura? Yes. Um, do I feel bad for Mura? Yes. We've just got to keep getting better players, and uh, this is definitely an upgrade on Mura. So I will allow them to sort of rotate throughout the season. But today, Nishina's going to get his actual debut for us, so let's just get straight into it. All right, here the team's coming out. Get a bit of a closer look up at uh, the kits there. Uh, you can notice the white a bit more. In this situation, it looks a bit more like a lederhosen. And um, that's a bit of a kit clash, but not massive. I guess the green shorts kind of let us off there. But Yucky's got the ball here. This is the first highlight of the game, but I doubt anything will come of it. It's kind of the usual. Pierce has got the ball here, plays it out to Yucky on the right hand side. Maybe something will come of this. He squares it across, but their defender gets it clear. Highlight's still going, however. Nakagato's now got it. Pierce. Marcus. And uh, yeah. <laughs> A couple of seconds later, we are back in with the first official highlight, shall we say, of the first half. They've managed to pick up in midfield Hidaka out to Abe R. He's going to get down this left-hand side, crosses it in, keeper, oh, Clay, oh no, keeper's just cleaned out their defender, oh no, it was Nishino, of course, on his debut, oh dear, that's not ideal, and they've buried it into the top right, Nishino, man. That's not how you want to start your debut, is it? I just realised how tall he is. He's got massive jumping reach as well. Nishina came through the back of him there. Um, you could tell he's not match sharp. Um, somehow we have more possession, which is an unusual thing for us. So this is the first time we find ourselves behind this season, um, moving us down into second place. We have got a corner here, though. Nishino is going to take it to the front post, but headed away. Nakagato deflected twice and uh, cleared away. I'm going to keep demanding more from these players until, we, uh, until we're leading, I think. Lovely back heel there from Kawano. Yucky's now got the ball down the right-hand side. Crosses it to the back post. Nakagato, ooh, saved by the goalie. He's enjoying a little runabout today. Can he get us a goal or assist, though? That would be great. Minamino jumps up for that, but can't get there. They've only cleared it as far as Nishino, who's going to come in and play it to Pierce. Pierce into Kawano. Lovely turn by Kawano, who buries it. Vindicating why he needs to be playing instead of Vera at the moment. Lovely goal, this. Um, Nishino sort of making up for his penalty, I guess. Pierce plays it into... Kawano, lovely turn on the edge, and just places it into the roof of the net. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Uh, Toshima's now got it on the right-hand side. Plays it into Selwyn Greasy Harmer. Let's just call him Harmer. Oh, Christ, that guy is big, isn't he? Okay, just over halfway through this first half, and uh, it is still one all at the moment. Could really do with couple more chances and we might have one here. Sawa plays it to Kwano. Sawa plays it to Yucky. Kwano. Pearson passing around nicely. Off the post. Oh. Nakagato left that because he was in an offside position. Minamino now gets it to him. Shot deflected but the keeper manages to save it. It's out for a corner. Who's going to be taking this? Nishino again. Has he got decent? He's got good crossing. I know that one. Oh no not now. Not now. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's got... Yeah, he's got decent crossing, but not great corners, to be honest. So, not really sure why he's on them. Well, I guess Miura's not playing, so we should probably check that in a moment. Kwano's now got the ball. Squares it across. Nakagato's shot is blocked, but Nishino's now got it. Can he get his head up? Get a ball in? No, he plays it to Pierce. Pierce gets challenged. Tanabe's now picked it up. Switches it out to Asawa very nicely, and it comes back into his feet. They're getting a lot of men back. Over to Pierce. Pierce, lovely ball through for Yucky. Yucky, can he square it? No, what are you doing, man? 
I know that's gone out for a corner, but God, just square that. Hit it across. Nishino to the front post, headed away. Gets it back in, though, and Pierce can't win the header, but Nakagato does, and the keeper claims it. Nishino crosses it to the back post, and uh, nobody can win it. Marcus just stopped chasing that for some reason, but he is getting back into position, passing it around, but not really making it through. And uh, Marcus, what are you doing, man? I mean, luckily their striker can't shoot, but what the hell was going on there? They've got a corner here. They've got a few big boys in their team, and um, but we've managed to deal with it because there's a little fly flying around. It's just landed on my mic. Um, they've got the ball back out on the left-hand side here. Crossing in to the back post, headed away. Nakagato, not that way, mate. Stop that. Oh, yes, blocked. Lovely. They're getting a few more chances than I thought they would. Nakakura got the fly. Okay, we've got the ball here. Passing it around. Yucky's now got it. Kwano plays it through for Pierce. Pierce for Minamino. Can he get it out left? He does to Nishino, but Nishino's cut back inside. Nishino again. He's going to run with it, and he's being tackled. Minamino's now got it. Shoots long range, a keeper tips it over the bar. I'm pretty sure I told them not to do that. Right, Nishino's going to cross it in to the back post. Marcus, can he win the header? He does, but Okamoto claims that in the air. This will probably be the last highlight before half-time, and it is. Um, So, I'm not happy with that performance. I'm going to let him know that. They have the ability to step up, and I need them to step up in this second half. So one thing I might do for this second half is get them to run at their defenders a little bit more because Yaki's not really doing much. Again, this is the second game in a row that he's been a little bit absent, I think. Obviously, that may change. He might turn that around, but nothing's really happening at the moment for us, which isn't great. Tanabe's not having a good time. Nishino's definitely not having a good time today, which is annoying because it is his debut. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, lack of games that's making that happen. Salva's got the ball here into Yucky, but he's got a lovely ball through there for Kawano. Kawano, can he square it for Minamino? Deflected in. There we go. Kawano's been our best player so far this season. Genuinely. Like, I didn't think he was going to feature a lot. He was going to be a sub. Um... Obviously, with the suspensions at the start of this season, Kawano's come in, he's got a couple of goals, he's got a couple of assists, and um, he's keeping Vera out of the squad at the moment. Well, that and the foreign law, but, you know, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story. Right, 62 minutes. I'm going to make some subs, because Nishino is having a terrible time. So I'm going to get... Miura in. I think he's going to play on that left side. And um, Tanabe, you can come off for Kambe, I think. I'll leave the wingers as they are for now. I do want to bring on Kenobata at some point and maybe uh, Aquino, but uh, I don't really want to make a huge amount of changes because there's not really much point. Right, we've got a free kick here. Asaba's going to take it. Shoots off the bar. Kawano shoots. Squared penalty kick. Things you love to see. So, <laughs> Sawa hit the uh, crossbar there from the free kick. Can he score this penalty to make it 3-1? And he does. Buried. What an excellent start to the season. We are 3-1 up against a team that we should be beating. Vons winning 6-0 against Bombonera. Fons, remember, haven't had a good start to the season, so um, it's interesting to <laughs> sort of see them coming out on top against Bombonera there. Endo's probably not going to be happy about the fact that he's been dropped for Marcus at the moment. I should probably rotate them for the next few matches, but they're playing well together, so I'm just going to let them continue playing. And Vera also, you know, could probably come in for 
Kwano or Cole Pierce in the next game. Just keep that rotation going because it'll keep the players happy. So Abata's back from an injury. He was on loan last year. Um, I'm kind of training him as a advanced forward. We've got another goal here. <laughs> I should stop talking. Minamino with a lovely finish there. Um, a lovely little passing passage of play there from, from Trinitus. Abata had it out on the right-hand side. Minamino picked it up there. Played it to Kambe, to Miura. Miura played it back to Kambe and Minamino just burst through. Dying seconds of the game here. Kino's got it out on the left-hand side. Just boots it long to their goalie. He'll um, play it back out. And uh, this will probably be full time. And there it is. Final whistle has been blown. That is 4-1. What a way to end this episode. So after that result, that puts us top of the league with nine points. We've won three out of three. Nearest team, Shinagawa, who are on six points. They've won two and lost one. We've got a massive goal difference, though, with 14 already after three games. If you look at the injury league as well, we've got four injuries as a consequence of going professional. Well, much like last season, there aren't actually that many games in the league. And there is a point where between June and August... We don't play for a month and a half. So so what I think would be best to do is go away and play these four games and then come back for the Thesper Challengers game and the Brian Vecker game. We remember these two teams quite well. We have played them a number of times before. Um, and they're doing quite well in the league. We're sitting in third and fourth at the moment. So I imagine they'll continue that. So thanks again for watching. Apologies that the first game of the season got lost with OBS. But we have managed to play two other games. Which we've won quite resoundingly. So thank you again for watching this video. Remember to comment, like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you again soon.